Right, so the Children in Need special is out and I kind of want to talk about it. It was pretty good in my opinion. It's set on Scarrow and Davros is there showing off what will become known as the Daleks and it's cool manipulator grabby claw arm thing to Mr. I'm a Villain from marketing. Who's there to talk about some branding ideas when Davros is called away to do some evil stuff leaving Mr. I'm a Villain alone with the Dalek when the TARDIS crashes in and out pops the 14th Doctor who's confused about his face. He's accidentally knocked off the claw arm thingy but that's okay, 14 has a plunger and Davros loves it. Over I thought it was pretty good. It was a fun little jokey joke segment that's not meant to be taken too seriously, but our Lord and Savior RTD made one fatal error that has enraged major parts of the fandom. He gave Davros legs. Conversations about bringing Davros back because he's a fantastic character. Time and society and culture and taste has moved on, and there's a problem with the Davros of old in that uh, he's a wheelchair user who is evil. I had problems with that, and a lot of us on the production team had the problems with that, of associating disability with evil. And trust me, there's a very long tradition of this. I'm not blaming people in the past at all, but the world changes. And when the world changes, Doctor Who has to change as well. We can evolve, we can start anew, we can become stronger. This is how we see Davros now. This is what he looks like. This is 2023. This is our lens. This is our eye. Things used to be black and white. They're not in black and white anymore. And Davros used to look like that. And he looks like this now. I thought it was absolutely vital to do this. And I'm very, very, very proud of the fact that we have. Oh no, Russell, what have you done? It's all over now. RIP Doctor Who. Doctor Who is dead and Russell has killed it by showing Davros with legs. In fact, check out what happens when you type Russell T Davies and Davros into YouTube. Somebody stop him. Davros is 2023 bad. Russell won't save Doctor Who. Russell T Davies completely misses the point of Davros and children in need. Holy shit, it's bad. Doctor Who fans attacked by Davies as Davros backlash gets worse. Davros is cancelled and Russell T Davies has lost his mind. Davros redesigned due to being problematic. Doctor Who cares anymore? That was actually funny. The show is done. Iconic Doctor Who villain change and children in need special. Bye bye Davros. R.I.P. Doctor Who. Doctor Who current years Davros for reasons. Iconic villain bad. Well, yeah, Bolstrak, he's a villain. He's supposed to be. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that people are pretty pissed. Honestly, the discourse on this has been pretty wild. It's mostly people reacting, mostly in bad faith. So just for fun, and because I'm a little bit burnt out writing a Fires of Pompeii script, which is gonna be coming soon, I promise, let's talk about it. There's been a lot of criticism leveled at Russell T Davies about this and his latest statements. Some have claimed that Davros with legs breaks canon, others have claimed that Davies is intending to break canon in future by erasing the BP chair from existence, because he said he's not comfortable with showing Davros in the chair anymore. And of course, there is the usual accusation of woke culture and SJW rainbow alliance agenda thing because Doctor Who has never been a progressive show before. First of all, it has. Shut up. Secondly, this doesn't even break continuity. I don't even think it's intended to be part of the continuity. It's just a comedy sketch. Don't take it too seriously. Yes, Children in Need sketches have in the past been intended from the start to be part of the continuity. And yes, Canon and Doctor Who is a very malleable thing, but honestly, I don't think that this is intended to be the origin of the Dalek plunger arm. It's just a joke. Don't take it too seriously. And even if it's not a joke, even if this is completely plain face serious, the only thing that has changed here is that the 14th Doctor showed up and given Mr. I'm a villain a bunch of ideas. Also, we don't know precisely when Davros had his accident that left him scarred and in the chair in the first place. There is I, Davros, of course, that wonderful biographical audio series that is a nightmare-inducing masterpiece, but I can see that not many people have listened to it, and it's probably not for everybody, and I would understand if RTD had ignored it. I would be a little bit annoyed, though. RTD is not going to retcon the wheelchair Davros. It's far too iconic. Yes, he did say that times have changed, and Doctor Who has to change with the times. This is what Davros used to look like, but this is what Davros looks looks like in the current year and so on and so forth. But honestly, you have to view this in the context of what he's doing at the moment. I mean, this is a sketch for children in need, a charity event that raises funds and advocates for sick children and children with disabilities. It would be a little bit weird if they had a comedy skit with a disabled space Nazi in it. Honestly, I think he was mostly talking about how he doesn't want to continue the well-worn trope of villains being in some way deformed or disabled as a visual shorthand for their villainy, while the heroes are beautiful and able-bodied as a visual shorthand for their virtue. It is a trope as old as fiction, it has given us some very iconic villains and very iconic heroes, but at the same time it's not difficult to imagine how it might be perceived by people who are actually disfigured or disabled. Try to imagine for a second being a child in a wheelchair and not seeing anyone on TV or movies who looks like you who isn't a bastard or comic relief. This is actually something that I can relate 
relate to. I'm bisexual. I'm attracted to all genders. For the longest time, whenever a bisexual showed up in anything, they were a sex crazed maniac incapable of monogamy, their non monosexuality being shorthand for their deviant nature. It is very easy to internalize this sort of stuff, especially if you're a kid. But bi people nowadays, we at least have Moxie from Hell of a Boss. He's the best example of bi representation I can think of. But from the top of my head, the only positive representation for people in wheelchairs I can think of is Xavier from X Men. Maybe Oracle, but she's in hardly anything. Yet, there are numerous examples of disfigured and disabled villains. Russell T Davies has simply said that he doesn't want to add to this, and apparently that's enough of an excuse to say that his new era is going to be an absolute failure before it's even started. I don't think the Davros is going to return anytime soon. Davies is on record saying that he wants to give the Daleks a little bit of a break. But if he does want to bring back able-bodied Davros at some point later on in the future, he doesn't need a retcon to achieve that. It would be very in character for Davros to grow himself a new body or discover a way to rejuvenate himself. Davros is a Khalid. He's from a culture that has extremist views about supremacy and purity. You can see this in his character design. In Dear Amanda Hagen's video on season 9, she points this out. I can't think of any better examples, so I'm just going to steal this one. I'm sorry, mistress, you can kill me later. In Jane's End, he is depicted as having a robotic hand and an original Khalid arm. This arm is atrophied and pretty much useless. He probably doesn't even have any sensation in it. He would be better off replacing it with a prosthetic, but to him, because of his ideology, a necrotic Khalid arm that barely works is better than any alternative by virtue of being Khalid. Now he's at a point where his body is wearing thin. Davros fears death and he's done everything he can to hold it back, but now he's more machine than Khalid, which is at odds with his supremacist ideology. He doesn't want to become a Dalek, so it stands to reason that he would try to grow himself a new body to escape death. Some people may think that this is entirely unnecessary, that there's no possible way that Davros could be offensive to wheelchair users, what are you talking about? There's usually people who aren't in wheelchairs who are saying this. They are of course entitled to their opinion, just as I am entitled to mine, and everyone else is entitled to theirs, but our own individual opinions are going to carry the bias of our own lived experience. I don't know what it's like to be in a wheelchair, so all I can do is listen to people who are actually in a wheelchair. People like Thery is a prominent YouTuber who is absolutely brilliant at staying on top of all the new news and links. He is confined to a wheelchair, and as such he will have insights into this issue that I will not. So basically what I'm saying is don't listen to the reactionaries, don't listen to me, listen to people who actually are affected by this stuff. But even if you don't do that, it's always best to err on the side of caution. That's what Davies is trying to do. And as usual, certain reactionary parts of the fandom are blowing everything hilariously out of proportion to try and maintain whatever narrative that they happen to be pushing at this point. And yeah, it's all part of the course and it's ridiculous and stupid and hateful and the internet was a mistake.